Meet Ibuki, humanoid robot child that will haunt your dreams. The scientists in Japan have come up with some really interesting technologies. The change in their technologies seems to be making a huge impact on how people expect their lives to be in the future. With that, let's take a look into the new robot that has been on the market in Japan and has been leaving the jaws of all people who get to see it performing. Welcome back, everyone. In this video, we'll be looking at Ibuki, a robot with great potential with its unique face structure and the ability to recreate a lot of expressions made to look like a 10-year-old boy. It can even blink close to how a human being would blink, which makes the robot a significant advancement in robot technology. We'll be learning a lot about this robot, so hit the like button, subscribe to this channel, and let us know your opinion about him. Let's get started. Ibuki is a very different robot that is mobile, using the two wheels on which the entire system is fit. It makes use of the soft skin-like material which is made out of rubber to suit the natural visuals of a child. The robot has the ability to get into intellectual conversations and even act as a good partner in case the user feels low. The ability of this robot to make you feel at home is one of the most amusing ones it has. But who's the person behind it and where did this idea come from? The project has been put forth by Professor Hiroshi Ishiguro along with his colleagues at Osaka University. The team was able to crack down on a lot of technologies that could revolutionize the manner in which we look at this world. We saw this first through a research paper on the build. It was published in a journal called The Robotica. After the paper received a lot of recognition, the researchers started coming out to the public to disclose their ideas for the project. They stated that Ibuku is not only an autonomous android that can move on the wheels, but it's also designed to move while vibrating its upper body up and down. This means that it has the ability to replicate the kind of movements the upper body of a person has when he walks naturally. These capabilities have been noted to be unique, and such small attention to detail is what leads to a very innovative project. The work on this project started back in 2004 and, since then, has been in development with the prototype costing somewhat around $200,000. It didn't take long for the robot to take over all the local newspapers and even be exposed to higher use cases as the people realized the kind of value it has in terms of the services it can render. The next steps have been to fine-tune the system and make it a much better system altogether. They've added more sensors to the project that could help it learn better and have also added a better vision that will help the robot scan the surroundings to recognize faces and the objects around it. The robot has also been added with some extra features that can make them extremely realistic, though these additions may sound very subtle. The robot has this unique involuntary blink feature that continues to work at all times as long as the eyes are open. This has brought in a lot more realism, and as soon as it was paired with the ability to make small bobs while speaking or interacting in any manner on a first look, it will be really hard to differentiate between the robot and a real person, just from the face and the expressions. On a closer look, however, the difference becomes clear and obvious. Even then, this is a pretty good advancement for the robotic industry. So what do they do these days with the system? These days, they're working on improving the control system of the Android. Moreover, they're also working on system mobility to make them more adaptive to various terrains. So yet again, a development here will mean some serious changes in the progress it makes in the times ahead. Apart from this, they're also working on human communications and comprehending them by making the android listen to more conversations between two human beings. So, rather than feeding the language into the robot, it may be learning from the speakers themselves and, hence, will accumulate data to be used in a specific manner. This is a kind of technology that may have only been seen in movies, such as Ex Machina and iRobot. Well, if you look at why we need such technologies, the answer is quite evident through the latest statistics. Japan is going through some serious loneliness issues. This means that people often get depressed as a result of loneliness, and they're now ready to replace any human's touch through these robots, given that the results they can come out with are good enough. Now, if you look outside Japan, you will also find that a quarter of people over the age of 60 live alone in the United States. Yes, this means that the scope of such robots is huge, not only in their country of origin, but also in an international destination like America. Pretty soon, from the numbers we see, we think this may rise and will relate to more than 43% of people in this world who often feel lonely. 
The situation is alarming, and this has promptly been recognized by Japan. As a result, they now have a Minister of Loneliness. This ministry will be responsible for handling people's mental states within Japan. The robot has a unique design and has a transparent head from behind. This exposes the kind of technology that is being used up there and gives us a glimpse of the complicated technology being used by the developers for the robot to function properly. Of all the features that have been added to the robot, the most important one that plays a very crucial role and is the reason for its existence is that it can act like a 10-year-old boy. So it's not just the looks and the height, it's also the behavior that will make you feel like you have a 10-year-old boy walking alongside you. It has the ability to learn and observe things around him. It will be able to recognize you and respond accordingly. This is very unlike the other robots we have, so essentially what it sees is exactly what we see as human beings. Of course, a difference may lie in the quality with which it sees depending on the cameras being used in the system. It has various different facial expressions such as sadness, neutral, surprised face, anger, and others. The robot can even depict fear, and is hence a huge step towards AI in these robots. The robots can see you and take actions based on your proximity, which adds up to the overall experience of the robot. The blinks look really natural, and the head bobs fool you into believing that what you see in front of you is a real child and not a robot. So, after hearing all of it, you probably may be wondering what is the purpose of this robot and why is it called Ibuki? Let's first speak about the name. The term Ibuki stands for life. The company also came up with a technology that made them one of the first to accomplish progress to this extent in this field. Even though there may have been a lot of robots trying to make changes, a lot of them have not yet been able to make a lot of difference in terms of the actual company that they've been able to offer a human being. This is where we need to be specific. A lot of robots have been able to make things work for us or make life easier for us in terms of labor or other work. But a robot that can really make a difference in your mental state and can give you company when you're not alone without you noticing the difference between speaking to a robot instead of a human being, well, that's a real success that Ibuki have been able to achieve. So just like the 10-year-old boys who were filled with adrenaline and are in constant need of dissipating their energy, this robot has the ability to keep you entertained with something or other, to give you constant companionship. With such a machine on board, we now have a technology that can help you through those times when you feel that there isn't really anyone to comfort you when you require someone to be present with you physically. This feeling is the hardest to get through, and we understand that. This is why we came up with this video. We hope to see you again on this channel. Until we return, make sure you keep hitting the button and subscribe to this channel. Technology is dynamic, so don't miss out on anything and turn on the post notifications. Missing technology is equal to missing out on the future.